Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the session. I am going to continue my discussion on incomplete records. So let's move on to the question and then we'll come back to the solution. Sam Jewel runs a jewelry shop. On 1st January 2019, a trade inventory at cost amounted to 4700 and her trade payables were 3950 Okay. On 1st January 2019, uh, Sam Jewelry had uh, 4700 worth of inventory and also trade payables 3950 During the 6 months to 30 June 2019, sales were 42000 Okay, She made a sales of 42000 Sam makes a gross profit of 33 and one third on the sales value. So this is 33 and one third on the sales value. So how the profit is calculated? Profit is calculated based on sales value. On 30th June, there was a burglary at the shop and all the inventory was stolen. In trying to establish how much inventory had been stolen, Sam was only able to say that she knew from her bank statement that she had paid 28,400 to trade payables in the six months period to 30th June 2019. Okay, and she currently had payables due 5,550. And you are required to calculate the amount of inventory stolen okay so on 30th june there was a burglary at the shop as a result of that she lost her stocks so you are required to calculate the amount of inventory stolen so in this question first and foremost what you have to do is uh, to calculate the stolen inventory so what you need to do is, you need to calculate, uh, you have to prepare a trading account, trading account to identify, to identify the gross profit, okay, to calculate the gross profit. How do you calculate the gross profit? Sales minus cost of good sold. So thereby you can calculate the gross profit. So based on this, based on the information given, let's prepare this trading account. First of all, let's take the sales value minus uh, cost of sales, cost of sales. How do you calculate cost of sales? For that, you have to have opening stock, your opening stock, then you need to add the purchases. From this, you have to deduct the closing stock. So, when you take, when you Eliminate the closing stock from opening stock plus purchases, opening stock plus purchases, you can arrive at uh, cost of sales. Then from sales, if you did a cost of sales, this will be the gross profit. So this will be the gross profit. Now since your closing stock has been stolen, uh, if you calculate backward uh, from cost of sales, you can identify the stolen inventory or stocks. Okay, so let's uh, take the numbers from the question. How much is the sales? Sales 42,000. On 30th June 2019, she made a sale of 42,000. So, 42,000 is the sales value. How much 
were the opening stock trade inventory on 1st January 2019 was 4700. So let's take uh, 4700 as the opening stock. Then the purchases. Now here the purchases are not given. Instead, you are given the trade payable opening stock, trade payable closing stock, and the amount paid, amount paid to suppliers or the trade payables. So you need to prepare a small trade payable account to identify the purchases. So let's prepare this account. This is a trade payable account. Let's take the uh, opening balance brought forward. How much was the opening balance? 3950. 3950. Then you take the closing balance, carry it forward closing balance, how much? 5,550. So that will be 5,550. How much has been paid during this period? So 28,400 has been paid. So what you need to do is, uh, you need to debit the trade variables, you need to credit the bank account and debit the trade payables 28,400 okay so balancing figure will be the purchases so this is the purchases so how much will be the total so here uh, 33,950 33,950 and your purchases will be 30,000. So this figure has to be taken in your trading account as your purchases. So this is 30,000. Now the closing stocks are not given, so which is stolen. As a result of this uh, burglary. So what you have to do, now how do you calculate the gross profit? So gross profit percentage is given. Now the gross profit percentage is how much? 33 and one third on sales value. Okay. So therefore what you can do is, as I explained you in my previous video, uh, you can calculate the gross profit based on the percentage. Now let me let me use a different color. Now the profit is calculated 33 and one third on the sales value. Okay. So therefore, uh, this is 33 and one third on the sales value, and this is the hundred percent. Okay. On that, uh, gross profit will be how much? So, which is the one third of 42,000. So, 14,000. So, this is the gross profit. Then, what will be the uh, cost of sales? Which is cost of sales will be 42,000 minus 14,000 will be your cost of sales 28,000. Now, you know the cost of sales. How much is the closing stock? So, Backward, if you calculate, okay, so you need to take uh, opening stock plus purchases, which is 34,700, which is this total is 34,700. From 34,700, if you take the difference between these two, 34,700 and 28,000. How much is that? 6,700. Okay. So, your closing stock should be 6,700. So, this is the stolen stocks or inventory. 6,700. Okay. 
So, so this is the answer for this question. So you are required to calculate the amount of inventory stolen. So to calculate that, what did we do? You need to calculate the uh, cost of the gross profit first. To calculate the gross profit, uh, you need to identify the cost of sales first. Okay, so if you can identify the cost of sales, so backward you can calculate the stolen goods, which is 6,700. So this is the answer for this question. Uh, with that, I will conclude this session. I will see you soon with another video. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.